Hey guys, it's John here, the Renaissance Garden Guy. And what I'm going to show you really briefly is a quick methodology for <clears throat> deadheading English daisies. Now, English daisies, Shasta daisies, primulas, basically flowers in that category, um, asters. The best way to, to deadhead these things is um, a technique I'm about to show you now. It's important to deadhead because deadheading the old flowers diverts the plant's energy into generating new buds and new blooms and foliage. So it's a good idea to eliminate these, these dead stems and flowers. Uh, the first thing we do, get a good pair of sharp pruners or you could use scissors as well. I've used both. What I always do before I do any kind of deadheading or pruning is I wipe the blades down with, with alcohol. I'll put some 70% al some or 80% rubbing alcohol on a paper towel or a rag and I'll wipe the blades down. That kills any kind of microorganisms, potential bacteria, plant viruses, things that could be transmitted to the plant that you're about to deadhead or prune. Very important to do that. I learned a horrible lesson last year when I started out by not cleaning these things off. I ended up infecting my plants with, uh, with rust. It was a horrible thing. Okay, so what we're going to do, the best way to, to, uh, to deadhead these, and I've deadheaded a lot of plants like this, uh, and I've, I've deadheaded these English daisies since I've planted them. I planted them now going on, well, maybe almost two months ago, a month and a half ago, and they're thriving. They're doing very well. These are kind of tough plants to, to keep going through the, through the hot summer, but we're going to do our best. It's a great perennial if you can take care of it. You'll see, you can identify the, the spent blooms. They're just shot, they're dry, they're sagging, they don't look good. This is a spent bloom right here. And what, what I try to do is follow that stem as far back as I can to the base of the plant or until I hit some leaf growth. You know, and I cut it right before you can see there's some leaf growth right here on this stem. I am going to cut this right before we get to that leaf growth. And you got to be careful not to cut surrounding leaves or foliage. So right there. And we've eliminated that spent bloom. Now there's a few more in here that we can do. Uh, there's one right here, Didi. Of course, Didi is helping me as always. Remarkable amount of help. I don't know if we can see this one, Didi, but we're going to follow this stem all the way down to a leaf, healthy leaves, and we're going to snip it right here. So that one's gone. And there's another one that's ready to go. Again, we follow that stem all the way back until we see some leaf growth and cut it right there. Now, if you can't get all the way back there, that's fine. It's more important to get the, get the dead flowers off and allow the plant to divert its energy into growth. There's another one that's pretty bad. Again, I, we'll follow that one back down as far as we can see. don't know if we'll be able to get to the leaves because it's so far down into the plant growth. But we'll get... Got it. And we're eliminating these one by one. I think for now, we probably have gotten all that we're going to need, want to get. Well, there's a few down here too. So let's get those. And you'll see, sometimes it's impossible to get down to the first set of leaves. So you just go as far down as you can. That's what I've done, and it's worked very well for me. Another spent bloom right here. So that's my video for today, uh, deadheading English daisies. We'll deadhead other flowers, and I'll show you my technique for those. Every plant has got its own sort of methodology, although some, some plants are similar, as I, say, as I stated earlier. Uh, daisies and uh, primroses, that, those types of plants. Asters, chrysanthemums. You basically want to follow that stem down to the first set of healthy leaves. And that kind of holds true for other plants as well. That's it for today. Renaissance Garden Guy, out.